Sag, it's me, Stormy, and here's your horoscope for March 2018. All right, Sagittarius, a lot going on this month. Three moons, two of which are full, a new moon giving you an opportunity to relook at some of your home family property zone where you're living, what you're investing your money in. As well, we've got two planets taking retrogrades and two slash three planets taking sign changes. So we've got a lot going on this month. So let's jump in and start to talk about this. The first things I want to tell you about are first of all that Jupiter and Mercury will be going retrograde this month. Jupiter being your ruling planet and going retrograde in your 12th house space, this is going to be a time where you need to take the wisdom of what is in this shadow sector maybe something unconscious and start to evaluate what you know about it, right? Do you have this business idea you want to launch out? Um, spiritually, are you making enough time for meditation? It's going to be a nice time for you to reinvest, reinvite, reinvent, reconnect with yourself and make sure that in that reconnection, you're using the wisdom of the downtime to get you ready to move some things forward. Maybe working on that project, doing that research, getting yourself ready when Jupiter comes out of retrograde to um, have some forward motion with some things so you can get ready to launch them out as we get to the second half of the year, okay? Mercury is also going retrograde on the 22nd all the way until April 15th. Now, Mercury is our communication planet. When he goes retrograde, cell phones, computers, um, people, we all start having miscommunications or it's slowed down in some way, shape, or form. You can end up redoing things a lot of times. Um, so if you have any negotiations, contracts, or big things you're wanting to do, I would really suggest doing them before the 22nd or after Mercury comes out of retrograde in April. So just things to keep in mind, okay? But let's jump in here and let's walk through this, right? So at the beginning of the month here on the first, we've got a full moon, the first of our moons for the month, happening at 11 degrees of Virgo. For you, this is lighting up the 10th house, a career space. On one hand, because the full moon says something has to be ended, acknowledged, or adjusted, we know that there's going to be shift here. So for some of you, if you are tired of this job, if you are frustrated by something happening in your career or your calling, sector, this could be the kick in the pants you need to start to make some adjustments, start to look someplace else, ask some questions, learn something else. This could really be a time, and I want to tell you, don't hold back. Don't hold back. You're frustrated. You're unhappy here. For some reason, start looking for a solution and start to look in some unexpected places, right? This moon energy will certainly help you because it's about getting your emotional security on par. Now, for some of the rest of you, because this moon does make enough of a connection with Saturn, some of you could really be recognized at work. This could be career changing energy. Maybe you are prepared to change your career, right? You're like, nope, not doing the corporate job anymore, totally setting up, opening up my art shop, doing tarot, doing healing, moving into medicine. Oh, I've been in medicine for so long, I'm ready to move to law, right? There could be significant changes on the horizon for you, but it's going to be about making the shift towards what makes those insides feel safe and secure. And you've got the energy of both Virgo and Saturn to help you ground down and do what really feels like you should be doing at this point. Now, on the 6th, we've got both Mercury and Venus taking a move into your true love and romance sector. This is very exciting. So because both of them are there and Mercury and Aries starts to communicate more forcefully, more forwardly, Venus is trying to put a little salve on there, make it sweet, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because they're both here, you may have a greater focus on this area for a while in the month. You may be thinking, oh, I really want to pay attention to what I love, what my heart's saying. I want to date. I want to go out. I want to have joy. I want to play. You could be focusing on your children. If this is a, a situation for you in your life, it certainly could be fertile ground. So if you're wanting to make children, this is also a time that could be happening. But I do think any kind of dating, even if this is a friendship date, right? This could be a great time to be doing that. I also would tell you, Typically, this is okay energy for investments. I would tell you to be very cautious with that because Mercury is still in shadow time, even though he's not fully retrograde. So pay attention, 
maybe if you can wait if the investment has to be made i would make it now before the 22nd if not wait until after okay now one of the things too that is interesting about mercury even in shadow time is he can bring back people from the past and we're talking about your true love sector people from the past could be coming up in dreams memories or even physically and god help them they could be showing up on social media as well here's what i'll tell you we celebrate whatever comes back because it's trying to show us something we can untangle and clean up so that we can move forward so look forward to those energies working out in your world for sure as well if you have the opportunity to if it works out it's gonna work out okay now when we get to the eighth we have Jupiter taking its retrograde until July so we're gonna be having that downtime in your 12th house space for about four months use that use the wisdom of what you know and what you're trying to create where you want to go what makes your soul sing to move forward now the important date around this Jupiter retrograde I think is the 14th Jupiter's over here retrograde in your 12th house but coming into a semi square with Saturn who's over here in your second house and what this aspect tells us Sag is that you've got to restructure or reorganize in order to take advantage of the wisdom so what may be happening here with Saturn is she may be showing you you've got to stop pretending you don't have this talent you've got to navigate use nurture this talent so that you can take advantage of this soul fulfillment over here right it also may say hey you've got to get some things in order financially so that we can launch this project and this dream in the second half of the year. So look at where you may need to restructure, reorganize. I think that's a very important energy for this month. Now, when we get to the 17th, we've got a new moon happening in your fourth house, home, family, real estate, property, women, mother, your roots, your internal foundations. This is a brand new, beautiful start for you to have here. And at the same time, we've got Mars moving over into Capricorn into this second house space so this is a great time if you wanted to buy a property if you wanted to you know if you're getting money from a property maybe you go on ahead and somebody decides to rent that property you have out there you could certainly see some income coming this way mars moving here into this sector is is about you know you're going to take some movements you want to achieve here one of the other things i'm i'm seeing too is that while the income could rise for you it could be the opposite way a little bit here as well. Maybe you're having to spend more money on something. Maybe something costs more. Maybe you've been trying to get these taxes back and you were gonna use them to do something with your house and you find out you're getting less back or the project is more expensive. You could have a child in your house. Somebody's moving into your house. Somebody's coming into your house and so costs are going up. These are things that could certainly be happening, but whatever it is, it's a beautiful fresh start. It's a new moon to take advantage of this home family property space as well as understanding your value because it's a part of your new foundations. When you understand you, you can demand your worth, right? When we get to the 20th, we have the sun moving into Aries. We're starting spring. We're celebrating this astrological new year. Really, again, fresh start energy. Let's move forward. Let's move abruptly. Let's move cardinally. Let's start. Let's initiate. That's what all of this energy is about. And for you, it's in your love life. And then we get to the 22nd and we see Mercury taking this retrograde in your romantic sector. These exes could come back. Um, your visions of children, if you don't have them, could come back. Issues with your children could come back. Things like that. You could also have nieces, nephews coming back and it's like, oh, I'm so happy to see you. Whatever it is, though, there could be a high focus on romance and children here. But I also wonder, too, for you, Sag, if it's just not a place where it's like, this is the thing I wanted to do when I was younger. This is what speaks to my heart and you're ready to move forward with that in some way, shape, or form. I would suggest not making any permanent and final decisions until Mercury is out of retrograde um, in April okay when we get to the end of the month the 31st we've got the full moon our last full moon of the month happening in the sign of Libra at 10 degrees this is going to light up your friendship sector um, groups associations and long-range goals so ending acknowledging adjusting you could be making a change to your plan you could have a friend that falls out of your life you could have a friendship or an association even if it's with something with work and you're like I'm tired of that I don't want this in my life anymore and you see that maybe you're ready to let that go and that ending sets way for a brand new beautiful beginning so lots of fresh starts happening here some of them have to come out of the pain of getting frustrated but there's a lot of joy i think for you this month sag so i hope you get out there and really enjoy it of course keep me posted on what you've got going on and what's unfolding for you for sure
Like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I hope to see you in the classes. I hope you've got your 36,000 subscribers gift. I hope to connect with you. I love you, Sag. I'll see you next month.